Caps, guys. How does it feel? Man, it feels, it feels crazy. It's great to uh, great to end up with a uh, with a race like that. You can't ask for much more. No, you, no one you need 11 points going in. You had five guys in it. That had to be a perfect scenario. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a it's comforting, but you never really know how those races play out. And it, you know, you don't want to you don't want to get overexcited before you know a big race like that goes off, especially with the competition. So it's good to go in like that, but you know, you still gotta still gotta have the mind ready. When those two runners <laughs> break away early, what did Andy tell you? Um, you know, it's early in the race, so you, don't, you never know if they're going to come back. Um, but, you know, like I said, the competition's stiff, so you, uh, they easily could have just kept, you know, kept, uh, kept pressing. So, Andy, I, I saw him say, you know, gradually make that, make that jump, don't make it all at once, and uh, that's what I tried to do. Eric, you outkicked the guy to the right of you. Uh, first time you've ever done that, right? Yeah, it is, if you can, if you can believe it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, this guy's had a hell of a, hell of a, a day, let alone a weekend. Um, that mile was something special, some, some pretty crazy. So um, I knew I had to had to help the team out, help help the guys out because you know everyone's running on tired legs. Edward, what, what's going through your mind on the home straight there at the very end? Uh, actually, as my coach says, just gonna. I, don't, I wasn't even calling for the win. My coach was like, just if you push on, if you place top eight, it would be great to get points for the team. So that's what I was going, and I was trying to help my team as well. You can come and take it. So when you run, sorry. Did you, did you play um, I when I saw my teammates coming over, I was like, "Hi, let him take it because he's my teammate." Anyway, we're not rivals, so we just, you know, try to score as many points as we, we can. So when you're lagging back early in the race, is that just to sort of get a sense of how the field's uh, playing out? And see yeah, if you my, need to really my, turn it on? my coach was like, "Just sit back." So I tried to sit back, and then it was like six laps to go. Just move back, <laughs> move, move in front, and just uh, look the team. You know, see where Eric is and Cheng is, and uh, Parker. All the teams like, "Look, look, look, your teammates up there." You guys had an incredible weekend in the distance races. How, how much you know practice time and the competition between you guys fuels this? Um, we always practice as a team. You know, we practice. You know, we put a lot of work for practice, and then when it comes to competition, it's kind of, it's kind of like you know, it's not even easy to compete, but it's tough. What does it mean going one, two, three at a distance event? Yeah. I mean, it's great. It's uh, it's a perfect scenario. Yeah, you know, uh, we knew with five guys that something like one, two, three uh, could happen. Um, and, you know, my race plan was to kind of hang off of whoever tried to go with Eric and Ed and try to get them at the end. And, you know, I knew, knew Kamoy would be a really strong runner. So I thought, you know, I thought he'd be up there, and he was. And, yeah, it just it worked out as well as it could have. You feel redeemed off the last night? You know, I you were yeah, yeah. Um, I was a little disappointed with how I finished last night. So to, to end the meet today uh, on such a high note was definitely the way I wanted it. Parker, you uh, you end your Ducks career as a national champion. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels great. Um, and I ended up ninth in that race, but uh, I felt really good, and that's all you can ever ask is to feel good in a race. And I was as patient as, as I could, and I started going and getting excited, and I went up into probably fifth a few times, and 10th, then seventh, and um, just really happy with how I competed. So um, it would have been really cool to get to be on the stand with these guys and um, all that, but just uh, training with them and being in that race with them was already special enough, and um, just happy I could, you know, have a race that I'm really proud of at the end. Um, Ed, we're talking about your mile. You know, you kind of, it's not great. You kind of get a rush out of that last little surge. You bring the crowd on their feet. You know, it's it's very impressive in that race. Just talk about the mile and what you did there at the end. Uh, what I did was my goal was just like start the race and just pushing yourself, sit in second place, and I was like, man. <laughs> This was gonna be tough. I was ready. I was prepared for the mile, and uh, coach was like, "Just what about the mile?" And then three days later, just you know, don't worry about it. And we we dropped like three something in the middle, and I was like, hey, "Wow!" <laughs> so I was ready for that, and then I was like, the last two laps, 400 meter, I was like really prepared so well for that, and I think I dropped like 52 something. How does it feel to get that roar though, as you're as you're as you're pulling that distance away, you know, there at the end of the race? Uh, it feels great actually, you know. I was prepared for everything, you know, to get the points for the team and, uh, you know, getting ready for that mile. Parker, do you think speak to balance and kind of teamwork and individual race to land in this, in this 3,000? How do you guys balance that? Yeah, um, in fact, this was, that's a really good question for this one. Normally, it's a little bit more um, Andy has an individual plan for everyone and talk, tells us what everyone else is doing. But Eric's really right, and, and so is Edward with their, um, what they said is Andy really made a race plan this time that was, hey, guys, how can we no individual things, what's going to be the best situation to bring everyone along. So last year in the 3K, super fast last lap, and he goes, I don't want that. So 
he took our strengths and had make sure Eric kept it honest to a certain extent so that Eric could help bring all of us along, especially guys like myself who um, can't run a 26 last 200. And so this was a very special race where Andy actually um, had a very, very team-oriented uh, strategy. So, and how would you describe that, that the team-oriented strategy? How, how are you guys looking out for each other, whatever? Um, I guess just we do it every day, you know, not every day, I guess, but in the big workouts on Friday. Um, and that's all we keep run, uh, kept bringing it back to. And I think when we all got nervous, we thought about all the times that we sat on each other and it hurt really bad at Hayward Field and no one's there to watch and we, we toughed it out. And I think that's what we brought it back to. And just knowing that um, these guys were gonna, were gonna do it, it um, builds off each other and everyone gets really excited to, to, to be tough. Did Coach Johnson say anything in particular to y'all as a group before that last race or any time today about? No, I mean, he uh, he knows he knows we know, know what to do and, um, you know, he trusts us, trusts Coach Powell especially, and um, that's really all you can ask for. Jeremy, a um, little bit of an off day maybe for you today, but just talk about, you know, being with this strong group of 3K guys, five guys deep in this field. So just talk about the experience. Well, not everybody can have the best race of their life best race in one day so it was tough for me but we're national champions how could I be upset about that we went one two three like I'm just so to be part of this team right now and I, I've been fighting a bum Achilles for the last two weeks so try to get away with just running through it and obviously wasn't able to get it done but we're national champions what, what am I gonna say I think we're looking at here one of the greatest distance groups you know, in NCAA history, if you look at the times you guys have run, when you've done championship races, especially championship races, you guys always seem to come through. What is it that allows you guys to do that? Why do you think you're so good? Is it the talent? Is it the coaching? Is it just you know, the bargain mystique? What is it about it? I mean, it's got to be a little, a little bit of both, all of it. Um, you know, the energy at practice day in, day out. Um, you know, you, you can't beat it. And obviously the coaches, you know, are, are the majority of that. Um, they really, They really are the brains behind it. And we're just a brawn. <laughs> um, so, I mean, that's 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 really all I can say. Eric, you know, it's a really really tough 5K yesterday, and it sounds like your mission statement was to keep the pace honest. Were you concerned at all about your ability to do that? I mean, I was. You're always a little concerned when you got um, a race in your legs. Um, but as soon as as soon as it, it gets down to race time, you gotta you gotta push that aside. You gotta you gotta focus on the race, and um, and really just focus on the task at hand. What you need to do. And uh, yeah, that's about it.